I would take our 60 bands, we take it downstairs. Well, not here, because I'm banned from here. We take it to another <laughs> casino. <laughs> Time to clock in. Right, so you can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Alright, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. In all honesty, right now, we should just be kicking it, relaxing, chilling out, recuperating after the long travel. We're not doing that. As you can probably tell, we're in some sort of hotel room. Well, guess what? It's not just any hotel room. We're on the fucking strip. You guys may have seen this character on TikTok or Instagram over the past couple months. He goes by the name of Mickey, and he's been cleaning out the casinos in Vegas. Six million, nine million. People give him a couple hundred thousand dollars to stake him. He goes to the tables and he fucking wins. This dude is unstoppable. Randomly, he said to me, the only way that we can meet up with him and do content is if I allowed him to put my face on the back of a NASCAR truck. Two months ago, I had a son. So oh, congratulations. I'm about to have one in two months. I'm yeah. kidding, bro. It's not my kid. It's not my kid. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, so this dude, Keith, right? He's the driver. He hits me up he goes bro I got 10 bands left to my name I can't afford to keep racing can I give it to you and you gamble I took 2,000 and we ended up winning 81,100 and he goes bro in return you have full rights to design the car however you want what else are you gonna do when you have full rights to the car stick Mike Malak's face on the back of it dude look at this shit <laughs> I know that guy. Bro, my face is on the back of a NASCAR truck, bro. <laughs> like, my nose, even the picture of my nose is gonna weigh your car down. Right? Could, could be good arrow, though, so. <laughs> it's the opposite. So, it's a 134 laps, mile and a half track. We'll be doing about, roughly about 180. Is there a lot of crashes in the truck in the truck game? On these mile and a half, it's, it's hit or miss. So, you see a lot of fucked up shit at these NASCAR races. Show them your arm real quick there, brother. Oh. Brother. Oh my God. What the fuck happened? A piece of glass went in this side and popped out that side. Oh. Is it still in there? Why the fuck is it talking to me? I, I don't know. Mouth. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, it's Mike from the future. I'm back here on the East Coast, which you'll see in next week's Night Shift episode. Somebody else that's coming back to the East Coast this week, Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers facing off with the Patriots. First time back at Gillette Stadium. It's kind of like coming back to your hometown for the first time with your hot new girlfriend, your shiny new car, and accidentally running into your ex. And guess what? Her dad's there too, in the form of Bill Belichick. So yeah, Tampa Bay Bucks marching into Foxborough, Gillette Stadium versus the Patriots. All the action, of course, is over at my bookie. When you use my code Big Mike, they'll double your initial deposit and they'll give you $20 in free casino play. All you gotta do is go to mybookie.ag and use code Big Mike. Let's get back to the night shift, baby. I got a couple notes for you. Okay. No matter what happens, keep going left. I know Haley Deegan's out there. She's a big celeb in the space. Give her a little tap, tell her to tag you on Instagram. I'm probably gonna be the guy that changes your tires. Okay. We're all rooting for Don't you. Don't fuck this up. As you also notice, it says, if I'm here, then who is working the night shift? <laughs> Classic. My face is on the back of this car. Oh. <laughs> they don't seem to give a shit. That's me. What do you think of that? You ever seen a guy's face on the back of a car before? Not with his mouth wide open. Alright, we're starting off a little slow. Dead last. Let's see what happens on lap two. After two laps, he's still in dead last. <laughs> it's not good, man. Got hey buddy, you hungry? Hey Keith, you hungry? We got food up here. Get this man cheeseburger. You know, just a little bit of an underwhelming day at the track. Keith's a great driver. The conditions say were quite humid. The track was sticky. A lot of other good drivers out there. And, uh, you know, it didn't work out. But I got a lot of faith in the 49 car. Bro, what happened last night? It was a total L. I was down 15 racks, dude, at 6.30 a.m. Hanging out with, with you know who. Oh, my Everything God. Everything was set up. Go back up to the room. She's like, ah, oh, I got to go. I'm like, it's 6.30 no. in the morning. Where no. the fuck are you going, bro? No. At your hotel? Yeah. Wow. Then I wake up this morning, I'm like, yo, Dave, we gotta go. He's you know like, what he said? You know what he said? Mike, I don't want to go. That's literally <laughs> exactly what he said. Oh my God. Hobie's job is literally to take a boat. Oh, he's got a little dinghy. Yo, as much as I love the Encore, this, the Cosmo is the best view. That's what Vegas. I said. It's and so the good. 15, and the balconies 15, are so thousand dollars a day just to run that. This will hangs up on me while he's like, what do you want? It's 15 minutes clock. later, I call him, he goes, I it's one o'clock, you uh, psycho. Fucking pasta <laughs> and chicken tenders in the soup. Can you imagine waking up? The worst pasta I've ever had. Dude. So there's just three of you, there's not five? Yeah, three of us. Okay, and just cool. so you know, I've got a little bit of a history with needles. 
Alright, nobody likes needles, I get it. He loves them. I got some sort of poisoning. I, I was poisoned. I was dead the entire day yesterday. I missed the UFC fight. Steve will do it was in town. Nick Merckx was in town. I missed all of it. I was in the bed over there for 30 hours. But now I'm back. I'm back with Mickey. He got taller. And we're gonna go nuts right now. What are the options? First option, I would take our 60 bands. We take it downstairs. Well, not here, because I'm banned from here. We take it to another <laughs> casino. <laughs> <laughs> There's like four casinos left in the whole city of Las Vegas I'm allowed in. Okay. So we can take our cash, we can hit one of the other casinos, and we can play some Baccarat. Okay, so I, this is 20. I have 20. This is all I have. I went to other people, all the people that talk a big game. Yo, if you find Mickey in Vegas and I'm there, I'll throw it. None of them threw it, at, as usual. So we're going with 60,000 to the table. So let's say I take your 20 with my port 40 and put 60, and I put you on a percentage of that. So 20 of 60 is like one third, right? right? So I can play for the whole 60. And let's say, hypothetically, we cash out a uh, million dollars, right? That million, you get back 333,000. That's your Dude, 33%. Dude, let me just say this really quick. If that fucking happens, and see, I know it wouldn't be even that crazy for that to happen to you, but if that happens, I am going fucking nuts, bro. For every and dollar, I might even buy a cheeseburger for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, option two. You have 20, I match your 20, and we go 50-50 partners. Now I got a third option. This one's interesting. So I just was in the penthouse at and there's a poker game happening up there. High stakes cash game. There are a few famous faces in there. I could say it, but you'll probably have to blur it on the video unless we go in there. They're, I'm waiting for the confirmation, like who's cool thing on camera, who's not. They got girls, they got drugs, they got liquor, they got food. There's one part that I can't be around. <laughs> I'll just say this. Yeah. I love girls, I love hanging out with cool people, I love penthouses, but what do you think is the best opportunity? Because uh, girls are, there's girls everywhere. Yeah. Right? We, I mean, we've got hot girls with us right now. Once again, buy our cheeseburger if we win. Yeah. What is the best chance that we we can quadruple or like make the stack bigger? You know what I'm saying? Let me defer to my coach. What do you think? Let me tell you about the game over. It's real soft. It's real loose. It's not the deepest game I play. It's a 51-2 game. Half hold'em, half PLO. Pits. Hit the pits? Uh, we're going to go down to the pits and play some Baccarat. I don't even know what all this stuff means. <laughs> <laughs> Spare some change for an old man. Uncle Mike, you're down horrendous, man. I got no change. Yeah, I take Ethereum, too. Fuck you, old man. So the first thing Mickey told me was he has one of the highest hit rates in Vegas. Basically nine out of the 10 times people give him money or stake him, he wins. My entire life has been about being the odd guy out and beating the odds, and this time was no different. I don't know how to say it, dude. We lost everything. We lost every fucking dollar. It was an ass beating of epic proportions. It was just a bunch of really bad beats, dude. Things that weren't supposed to happen, happened. Like I said, it's not a normal occurrence for him. He usually does good 90% of the time. Mickey, I love you. I'm gonna come back in the next couple of videos with more money, and you're gonna make it right, because until then, I'll be sucking dick for cash. Yo, you don't mind if I film in here, do you? <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking pervert. Dave, you've changed since I left, dude. The old Dave never would have creeped on people in the shower. Here you are, back in America. Are. Back at the house. Getting a little itch to come on back. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm trying my ass. This place sucks. Also, the last episode that we did, you even said this is prime content. I said, it's, I said it's really funny. The, the scene on the train is quality. It's good, it's good programming, Mark. So where are we going to next then? <laughs> oh, 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 New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans. Bourbon Street, bro. What do you know about bourbon? Mm -hmm. What you know about gators, Mark? Where's my veggie burger? There is no veg. There might be, by the way. I just got you a regular burger. By the way, burger, Sherman Oaks, California. This place was recommended to us by Olivia O'Brien. I've never been here. <laughs> she's never fucking been here. So already we're off to a rough start. The owner's recording us right now. Something tells me he thinks he's gonna be out here for the review. That scares me. It feels like pressure. I don't like it. <laughs> He's like my my son can't go to college because I opened up this restaurant, but I hope but I hope you like it, Mike. This is the BTW burger, which is by the way burger, and then this right here is the Kobe Royale giant Kobe burger. It's got the tomato. What the fuck is that? What the? F Pineapple? Pineapple? What? We got we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. That's fucking weird. Wow. That's fucking Actually, weird, bro. Heard, What are you gonna do with your pineapple? Are you gonna take it off? I'm going home. Fuck <laughs> no. I mean, to put it on a pizza, I guess. No, it's the no, same no. shit. No one actually does that. They're calling it Kobe beef. It's got obviously a mixed cheddar and like a, a two or three cheese blend on it. What? What's your honest plan? I'll, you, I'll try. It. I'll give it a bite. Oh, you gonna give it a bite? Okay. Are you ready? They lost when they decided to put a pineapple on a hamburger, bro. Fuck, bro. Try the regular one. Bro, they had it all. They had it all. Did you know a pineapple was on that? No. You didn't know? I have no. That's fuck. insane. Yeah. That's just, that's illegal in some states. What do you think, Olivia? 
I don't eat that one. It's yeah. more than laser one. Here, here, here. No cheese on it would be good. Here. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> but, but Ew. This has your fucking chlamydia on it. Oh, wow. How did she know? You just take a pill and it's gone, Mike. I don't have chlamydia. Nah, cool. Not right now. <laughs> I'm like a really, really big fan. I love your hair. Thank you so much. What's I was going really on, Mike? And I was like, that's motherfucking Olivia Ryan. I was like, I had to just say hi really fast. It's dark. Too. So really quickly, too. Those fries are great. The fries are great. The f Logan, did you try the fries? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. The bun is very soft. The meat is like decent. The cheese blend is great. The pineapple is really good. Really yeah. Olivia's pissing me off. Who does a fucking... Oh my god, you guys have like a whole film crew. I I'd like to come back for a, pro a more proper laid back review, but just off the strength of the pineapple, um, I'm going to go 6-2. Mmm, hey, mister! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Tell on him. He went to go fill his drink up. <laughs> no, and I'm gonna wait in the car just in case. <laughs> you told him about the 6 too? Yeah, bro, he goes, they don't think it's real Kobe beef. You should go out there and say something. Huh? Bro, he was snitching on us. All right, so this is the regular burger. David wants me to try this one. I like the sweet bun. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, yeah, dude, yeah. No, 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 yo, it, 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 you know what it tastes like? 6.2, take it back. <laughs> oh. So we're over at yeah. Olivia O'Brien's new house, by the way, which is beautiful. The only right off the bat, though, you went with 77 for the heat. Oh, you like to create a little bit of a tropical environment for yourself, yeah? Some people just want to watch here. the world burn. Normally, I like to have my, my temperature at 69. <laughs> Oh. What's that jacket doing? I just want to say this really quick. These burger reviews, it's it's hard for me, okay? We just went to that place. The guy was extremely nice. The guy that made the food was extremely nice. Every, they were so accommodating, and it was obviously a small, like, mom and pop shop. Like, leaving there, I actually felt like kind of... Do you see what I'm saying? He was a little disappointed. He was so nice. And by the way, yeah, a six, a uh, six point two is a very yeah, decent a score. score. You have to stay true to what you feel. You're the critic, bro. Your opinion is your opinion. You have to stay true to who you are, regardless of the person and the, and the feelings that went behind oh. it. I'm sorry, bro. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Olivia controls one of the most ridiculous canines in the Los Angeles area. His name's Dexter. He's got the most ridiculous proportions. Logan, can you hold him up for a second, please? He has a tiny, like, head, but a giant body. He's like a, he's he like, lost weight. He was okay. First of all, put no. Dwayne back down. And all he likes to do is just lick constantly. It's all he does. Oh, that's nice, Dexter. Bet you'd like the pineapple burger, wouldn't you? Yeah. I like him. I like him so much. <laughs> I like you had, how you have this massive wall, and somehow that little photo actually... <laughs> well, my dad did this as a joke. No, it's, it's good, but it works. I actually like it. Let me guess what he's gonna do. I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, what do you know? <laughs> it's been a pretty happening episode here on the Night Shift. You guys saw me lose half of my life's earnings uh, in Vegas. For the next video, we're gonna be taking a little bit of a different approach. It's gonna be a heartwarming uh, video where we get to help someone in my neck of the woods back in Connecticut. So if you're watching this video right now, and you're in New York City, you're in Connecticut, you're on the East Coast, you're gonna be seeing me and David, and I think randomly George as well, very soon. I'm pretty sure that's all I got for you on this week's episode of The Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us. We are... Fuck your video. Clocking out. Peace! What do you know about bourbon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.